Mm -hmm. yeah. so it's your girl me okay and y'all he is in the pajamas okay in the pjs fresh clean face don't mind my acne and my dark marks i am human okay and for today um we're just gonna be talking about trusting your season okay being comfortable in your season so many people that's my age if y'all don't know i'm 24 so people in their 20s always feel like dang like i don't got this like what am i doing i ain't in nursing school but what am i doing i ain't in um what is that law school yeah <laughs> law school what am i doing think about it your 20s are for you to make mistakes your 20s are for you to make dumb decisions don't be stupid you know you make dumb decisions but not like stupid drastic that's gonna mess up your future decisions you know what i'm saying but it's like for most people that's in their 20s that they just graduated college like they're back at home or they went to venture off go to grad school or go to med school or nursing school or whatever the case may be and we just feel like oh my god what i do or you see erica and erica is a bsn rn she got the range rover she got the high rise and you like bro she's 24 I'm 24 and I'm still applying to get on nursing school and it's just like you cannot compare your season to Erica's season and it's like Erica God has Erica in a certain season for a reason you know what I'm saying and he got you in a certain season for a reason and you can't compare your season to someone else's season because if you do that, you not you not focus on you. You not focus on what God has you in. You not focus on what you supposed to be doing. All you focus on is what Erica doing. And you need to focus on what you doing so you can achieve your goals. Just honestly, know that God has you wherever you at for a reason. And don't feel like you're not where you're supposed to be because if you wasn't supposed to be there, God wouldn't have you there. Okay, that's a word. Okay, give it. That's a word. But with that being said whatever season that you in be comfortable in that season for me for example like i'm 24 years old and when i tried to do the rad tech program when i first got out of college like i was like rushing like i was taking 20 hours and then i was taking those two classes so i was taking like 26 hours my last semester and i was just trying to hurry up and get in the program and at the time i was talking to this other advisor that was at um this other rad tech program in dallas and it's a university and it's like thirty thousand. who paying thirty thousand? i just got out of the sfa that i don't know why that was an option but i was talking to him he was like okay all you gotta do is take your head see all you gotta do is this this you got like a month to get it done the stuff that i had to get done was like this this long like one two three four it was it was long and i felt myself rushing like i wanted to happen so bad because i gave myself a timeline that okay mia once you're 25 you need to be at the house you need to be on your own making money in your career established and everything this is what i had in my mind so i'm like okay i'm talking to him like okay i gotta do this i gotta do that okay i'm rushing and i was just i sat back and at the moment, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. Because spending 30 racks in the program I'm with, I'm paying cash. Like, like it's very attainable. I ain't going to lie. That last semester, that $984, I'm like, damn. Damn, I got it. I got to say. I'm like, ah, <laughs> well, I was like, whoa. But that's okay, you know, whatever. So the first time I didn't get in, I was I honestly can say I was okay like I wasn't tripping at all when I first didn't get in like I got that denial letter I said okay it's it's fine opportunity to save up my money so I can pay for it cash because that's why I wrote I said God I, whatever the program that I get into I want to pay cash I don't want to take out loans or anything like that or get scholarships or something like that that's what I want to do and long behold that's what god blessed me with but it's just to say that you can see in my story how at one point of the story i wasn't comfortable in my season 
and I was trying to make it work when it was not God will to make it work and if you say well I really don't see that the prime example is how number one it was it, the cost it was so high number two I had a whole list of stuff that I had to get done within a month and it's like okay you gotta hurry up and get all this stuff done in the month you gotta take the hesse baby i don't know if y'all don't know but the hesse is not something you could just study two weeks and you be good once i sat back and look number one i wasn't trusting god number two i was trying to rush a season that i wasn't even supposed to be in and i just feel like if you rush seasons you will find yourself unhappy you will find yourself in situations that you don't need to be in you will find yourself lost you won't be enjoying it or anything because you don't brush a process or made a decision that you wasn't even supposed to make i'm more like the israelites than we like to say that we are and if you don't know what the israelites is read your bible <laughs> but basically the israelites was complaining the whole time like moses was taking them to the promised land god was gonna have them with the milk flowing with honey and all that good stuff you know what i'm saying chilling with the manna eating good you know maybe getting their feet rubbed who you know whoever but they were just complaining the whole time bro like like god's giving you a promise like he said mia you gonna be a tech all right god said it got you so all right you gotta do a b and c and d to get you to be a tech all right so am i gonna complain the whole time like dang god why i gotta walk why i gotta be a um uh, why i gotta um help transport patients and not even get paid for it why i gotta do that blah 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 it's like you can't be like that because you you about to block your blessing hey I, I try not to be like that but god probably like dang shut up like shut up like chill out like you know what you gonna complain i'm taking it back that blessing i said yeah mm -mm, it ain't it ain't gonna happen no more because you complaining <laughs> but basically the israelites all they did was complain and they complained so much they was prolonging their season longer than they was even supposed to be in that season and it's like fam like bro if god say he gonna do something he gonna do it and he gonna stand 10 toes on that thing okay and it's like you know when i think about what god has done in my life going up to this part is crazy it's just like everything happens for a reason and you you literally have to trust god and once you get farther in your season or out of that season into your next season you can look back and be like oh god now i realize why you had me do what i was doing now i realize why i was here and something that i want to talk about luke 1 37 faith does not make things easy it makes them possible and yeah that's on my planner and it's so cute but i feel like that's what a lot of people need in their lives in their 20s in their season whatever they may be you may trust god and i know a lot of people a lot of people into different other spiritual spiritual stuff baby i don't know what y'all got going on i'm talking about the people that believe in god okay but um if you do just really trust and harp on his words and what he say and pray when i say pray baby pray okay because your girl don't pray i don't pray prayed and prayed and prayed and y'all god i'm joseph baby okay i'm little joseph okay if you don't know who joseph is joseph was the boy who was getting the dreams that he was gonna be somebody and his brother's like why are you having those dreams you ain't gonna be nobody i ain't gonna bat on to you yeah i be having dreams like joseph <laughs> and so like in my program or whatever y'all i literally had a dream it was after i applied it was when I was applying a second time and it says, congratulations Mia, we would like to welcome you to blah, 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 college for radiologic technical program. And so I was like, oh my God, like I'm about to get in. So y'all, this is the second time I'm applying. So I'm like, oh my God, like, and I'm going to Bible study. Like I'm, I'm reading my word, like I'm doing all this, like I'm praying, I'm, I'm doing all my stuff that's supposed to be doing. So I'm like, okay, God, like, all right, all right, like, you know, and I get that denial letter 
and when I tell you me and God was beefing me and God was beefing like I wasn't praying like I wasn't reading my word or anything because I was hurt because I'm like God why you tell me that I was gonna get in and I didn't get in and I feel like number one me trying so many times show my determination me trying so many times show that that I won't I'm gonna get it okay and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to do it like I was taking classes I retook classes like I was doing a lot of stuff that I needed to get in and it's like number one like I pray like and before I even applied to the program I prayed to God like I said God if this is what you want me to do make it known I said make it known clear as day I, I don't know if I touched on this in my the other video me going into it I don't think I did but God made it known and when I said he made it known he made it known and I kept asking I kept asking for clarification because I wanted to know because he he made it so clear so when I got that denial letter I said ain't no way I said man boy you tripping <laughs> like you don't gave me this dream and now I'm just like bro what's going on and right before I applied the third time, I had this same dream. And I said, all right, guys, <laughs> if, we don't, if we don't, if I don't get in this time, I don't know. But I did, and I feel like it was the perfect time. It was trusting my season, and it was being comfortable in my season no matter how uncomfortable it was for me and that's the biggest thing that i want to get out of this video ain't just to talk about my season or whatever but hopefully you was able to make some correlation or if this helped you in some shape or form but it's just you got to remember everybody's time is not your time that's the main thing and it's like y'all we are in our 20s we 24 21 20 35 whatever the case may be but it's like life is hard you don't have to have it all together i don't know why people think that you have to have everything all together by the time you 30 it's okay it, it's okay like you don't need to rush your time your season because if you rush your season guess what you're gonna end up being in a bigger hole than you need to be in like and i tell anybody who like me I don't know what to do or me I don't know where to go or how to do whatever decision you make pray about it and fast y'all just trust the process pray fast and don't rush your season because if you rush your season you will miss what you were supposed to learn in your season and he will have you redo your whole season over again so pray trust your season and get into your word and just know if it is god will it will happen but it's gonna happen in his time and you gotta trust his timing and i feel like a lot of people don't trust god timing because we have our own timeline god told you something he's gonna make it happen but at the end of the day you gotta put in that work and if you don't do your part guess what it ain't gonna come to pass so you supposed to be an entrepreneur but you lay in bed till 10 o'clock a.m. every single day and ain't reading no book and ain't making connections guess what you ain't gonna be no entrepreneur you ain't gonna get to where you want to go because look at your habits look at your habits it's like I think so many people want to get the prize and want to get what it needs to what what they've been praying for but don't want to do the work baby that don't add up that is that's not two plus two equal four that's not what that is that's four plus six equal 92 and guess what that don't equal 92 so some the math ain't mathing so you can't say you want this this that and the third if you want to do something you need to do it but you need to put in that work you can pray all day but if you're not changing your habits or doing what you're supposed to do guess what it ain't gonna happen sorry not sorry but that's that, that's just what it is get off your legs behind and get you know what that man <laughs> yo i gotta insert that clip he was like you laying on the couch you know what you gotta go to dc university wait hold on man i'm adding that clip 
in here? Do y'all know? Sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over. Well, maybe I'll go to school next year, or maybe next semester. No, do it right now. They'll work with you after work, or you can go before work. You can do whatever you need to do to graduate. Go talk to somebody right now. They out to help you. You spend all day on the phone anyhow. Why don't you make a phone call that's going to help you in your future? All you got to do is pick up the phone and make the call. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. Y'all, <laughs> If y'all don't know that commercial, you tripping. But literally, you said you be sitting on the phone anyway. Make it happen. Make them business calls. Baby, make them business calls. But no, for real. This, <laughs> this legit trust your season. And even if it's not looking like where it can be. Oh, hold on a second. Because y'all, I got some heat. Hang on a second. And so it says God remember God can use bad things to grow you and bring you into unlimited plans for you preparing sometimes mean preparing meaning stripping you of everything you come to rely on to do something bigger and better through you y'all that's a whole word that is a whole word okay so it may not look like you are where you supposed to be. You may be like, why am I doing this? God is literally preparing you for your next level. And I say this wholeheartedly. I don't know who this is for. Baby, he preparing you, okay? Because it's crazy how God used things to line up. And you be like, dang, like going through stuff. Just soldier it out and thug it out. God is just preparing you. So... And that's all I got. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. Until next time, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all. <laughs>